Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is a camera review of Moto M. On the rear we have a 16 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture and face detection autofocus and on the front we have a 8 megapixel camera. In daylight and well-lit conditions, colors are a little saturated but images look very good. It has good sharpness and decent dynamic range. Although it didn't live up to the mark in few situations with exposure, focusing speeds were pretty good but a laser assisted focus would have been much better. HDR mode helps in maintaining good details in dark areas even in the brightest situations. It did take little while to capture images and I had to hold the phone very still but the results were pretty good. It overexposed in few situations but that's completely fine. For selfies, front cameras on motor phones have always been good with wide angle lenses, bright images and the same stands with Moto M. Front camera is not as wide as Moto G4 Plus but they are still good. It has good dynamic range, good color reproduction, decent sharpness, fast focusing and capturing speeds. I can't really complain about the cameras except in low light. It takes a while to capture the images and we have to hold the hand very still to take a sharp image. Other than this issue, I really can't complain about the camera. There are few features in Moto G4 Plus that help take better images which are missing on Moto M. I really wish they could have added those features like brightening the display while taking a selfie in dark. It does a decent job in low light but we need to have very stable hands to capture images with good sharpness. Once you capture an image in low light, it takes a sharp dark image and in a second it makes it bright. It's a cool feature but you need to hold your hands very still to get it right. It has good brightness levels and decent dynamic range with decent sharpness. White balance is pretty good but in few situations whites turn to pink and that's not good. Unlike previous Moto phones, this phone concentrates on getting sharp images than brighter images which I think is a good thing because concentrating on brighter images gives you a noisy and grainy image but a sharper image is much more useful when you can even edit them in post processing to make them look better. Video quality in Moto M is not as good as the images. Colors are worn out, it oversharps the footage and the lack of stabilization makes it even bad. Dynamic range is decent but that's not enough reason to say the cameras are good. I expected it to do as good as the images and it's a huge disappointment with the video footage. I hope it will be fixed with a future update but until then, video recording is nowhere near good. Front camera footage is far better than rear camera footage. Color reproduction, dynamic range and sharpness are all good. White balance is pretty nice and with wide angle lenses, I really don't want to complain anything about the front facing camera. Being a latest phone, Moto M didn't bring a lot of improvements to cameras. It actually missed few things from Moto G4 Plus. There are few improvements over the camera like HDR mode, color reproduction and capturing speeds. These improvements are so minor that they can't be noticed. I wish Moto carried on things like a double twist gesture to open the camera app, wide front facing lenses, laser assisted autofocus, good video recording and few other things. I wouldn't say it's a bad camera but I really hope the camera to be much better than the previous Moto G4 Plus. These cameras are not bad but they are not new. Even the older phones do the same job and in some cases even better. You can buy this phone for many reasons but not specifically for cameras. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, comments, complaints or if you like us to make any specific video, feel free to let us know by commenting below this video and stay tuned to us by subscribing to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off, have a nice day.